Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Akuma MC Skyblock and in this video we have joined a new island so we're going to be showcasing that and some other things so stay tuned to the very end because this island is insane. So let's go straight to the island and this island is so much better than my old one. There's some better farms, better grinders and so much more so I just want to get started and show you guys. So let's start off with the farms. We currently have this carrot farm. If we go ahead and check the IS masteries, we are currently up to the carrots I'm pretty sure. No, we're up to the melons which is a pretty Pretty good mastery on the old island we were only up to potatoes so this is really good and melons sell for a decent amount let me check the price compared to the old crops if we go ahead a melon slice sells for three and a regular melon sells for 40 if we go ahead and check the potatoes that's only for 22 and 24 or this other one zero so yeah melons are way 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 better than the potatoes so this is going to help us make a ton of more money and stuff and i could definitely make a future video on these farms but yeah so we are at a pretty decent mastery here with the melons which is going to make us a ton of money we can actually go ahead and farm some of these later in the video after we are, are done showcasing all of the farms and over here we do have a little bit of a grinder there's some spiders and stuff and if we check the chest they don't have too much money in it we haven't really been afking a lot but the main farm for grinders over there but i do want to go ahead and go over some other things first over here we do have some minions grinding some of the mining and currently the chest is at 1.118 mil and if we do afk a lot of these we don't currently have any alts so we're gonna have to AFK, afk them ourselves and we can't always be on but this one has eight mil over here so these robots are actually making us a decent amount of money that's not even it because we do also have our mob farm over here and basically this one is just all the other mob farms i'm pretty sure these are just endermen because they are i think one of the best that we are grinding right now as you can see we have the grinding robots over here all connected to this chest that is going to make us a ton of money if we do afk it and as you see they just work by killing it and you can they are fully maxed out i'm pretty sure so that is another way we are making money we do also have some generators over here generating us keys gems and some more keys so they're really really good and they are currently farming but when they do spawn they are honestly really good and these are just gonna help us get a ton of stuff and then this is the other farm um uh, basically this is just the rest of the spawners we have mythical auto cell chests which is pretty insane and as you can see both of these chests currently have 25 mil each which is insane honestly that's 50 mil right there and that's way more than we would have made on my other island so yeah this island is really insane basically all these spawners have some fire scrolls in it and i'm pretty sure let me check so fire scrolls uh, I don't have perms currently i'm gonna have to get them real quick but yeah currently i'm pretty sure each spawner should have the fire scroll the magic scroll and the loot scroll and basically if we check the gem shop basically what these do is hold up let me go there real quick and slash shop basically what these do is the fire scroll basically allows us to not to use lava and the magic scroll basically has a chance of spawning more mobs per like proc of the spawner and the loot scroll gives us just more loot when they do die so those are honestly all really really good scrolls if you do want to fully max out your farm now i don't have a really good axe or anything but i do want to go ahead and farm these melons just to see how much they can actually make me so let me go ahead and find a decent one for now i don't know if it's gonna be able to auto break so let me just grab one uh, actually i think this should be in some chest over here and let me find one okay efficiency one let's see if this is enough it should be but i don't know it might, might break a little slower it might not be instant but it looks like it is okay so we're definitely gonna take that i think i need gardener on it because i think we do have a chance of breaking seeds but i'm just gonna aim like this so i'm gonna farm all of these rows and let's see or i'm just i'm gonna get a full inventory first and see how much that sells for just so we can compare it to some other crops that we have previously mined so i'm just gonna break all of the melons like this hopefully see how much rows it's gonna take me to get a full inventory and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and sell it and see how much we're going to make. Hopefully, it's a decent amount because as we do upgrade these masteries, we are going to be getting a lot more money from each of these crops. And as we do get near the top mastery, we are going to get a ton of money. I'm pretty sure the top one is Nether Wart. If we go ahead and do such ice mastery, we can actually check real quick. And it actually is cactus. So, yeah, we can build some massive cactus farms, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, cactus is going to be one of the best farms that we can get. But we do all have to unlock that mastery because we are currently kind of far from that. We are only in the melons. So we have some grinding to do but yeah i'm gonna finish mining and just like get a full inventory it should just be a little more in this row and if we take a look we should be at a full inventory around now okay so we're at currently 130 mil we probably shouldn't get too much but if we just sell all we did make 6k okay that's not terrible i mean as we do keep upgrading and getting a better axe and stuff like that we are going to be getting a lot more money and maybe if i do get a higher enough efficiency we're able to fly through each of these currently the way i am farming is pretty efficient we aren't flying and i have a chance of breaking the seeds which i don't want to do because that's 
just uh, that I'm just gonna have to replan. It's gonna be a painful process. Yeah, that's not totally bad. And as we do keep getting the masteries up, they just are gonna just make us more money. So it's honestly worth it, even if it isn't gonna make us a ton of money right now. This is also getting our farming skill up a lot. If we take a look at our slash skills, we have to grind a little bit more. It should be in the farming skill, and we are currently level 25 out, and that's not even that bad. I thought we were a lot lower, but the max, it looks like, if we take a look, is 120, and we are kind of far from that. So we're going to have to continue farming to actually upgrade this skill. And as we do get to the higher tiers, we're going to be getting more more and better rewards. Like, if we take a look at level 30, which is the next one, we're going to get a 26 crop drop boost, which is pretty insane. We're going to get some storm keys and some chunk hoppers and a rare auto cell chest, which honestly, those aren't too good. But if we take a look, let's just take a look at level 100. You're going to get a mythical auto sell chest and some pretty good books and some spawners. So those are all very good. And the max one, you're going to get a cluster, which is one of the best things in the game. And you're going to get some airdrops and some pretty good stuff from that. So as you do keep getting your levels up, you're going to be getting a lot more better stuff. So those melons are going to make us some money over time. And as we do keep grinding them, we're going to get the ice mastery up. And eventually we're going to reach the next one. If we take a look is nether war and nether war is a pretty simple farm to actually make. So that's going to make us a ton of money. And let me see how much they actually sell for. If we take a look in the, it should be in the farming, they sell for 20 each, which is less than potatoes, but nether wart, I'm pretty sure you get multiple per like time you break each nether wart, and they're honestly really good. You can make some big farms, and they're honestly really, really easy to make, and they grow, they actually grow really fast, so I guess that's why they're a little bit cheaper. They, I think they are the fastest crop that grows, and yeah, so we are doing pretty good. We are on the melon masteries, so... Yeah, as we do, we are going to keep grinding and trying to get those masteries up in our skills in future videos. So make sure to stay tuned for those and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on another video. But we do have some crates to open. So let's go ahead and open up those real quick. We don't have too many, but some crates are better than no crates. So let's just open up all of them real quick. So we got some spawners. Pretty good, pretty good. And we did get an auto sell chest rare, which is not the bad, which is not bad, but it's not the best. And we get a legendary chunk hopper. We'll take that. So let's open up these gem pouches for dungeon keys. I'm pretty sure dungeons, I mean, I think they're pretty mid in my opinion, but they could be pretty decent, I guess, if you do get far enough and get those coins. But we did get seven value tickets. Let's go ahead and claim those. Some tags and some more Tempest keys. Okay, that was pretty mid. I mean, they, I, did not ha I didn't have too many keys to open, but I'm pretty sure we do have some fi uh, value tickets in our PV too that we can actually go ahead and claim. We're currently at 175k value. So let's go ahead and claim both of these and they're actually expired so that's actually a feature on the server that they the value tickets can actually expire so you want to make sure you're using them in time so they don't expire and you can get the value tickets and so they're actually worth it one thing i forgot to mention is if you are making a melon farm you do want to go ahead and place a beacon down so you can go ahead and get haste because basically haste will just allow you to insta mine the melons so you don't have to go and keep putting efficiency on your axe and it just makes the process a lot faster for leveling up and breaking the melons and just farming in general just helps so much and it's way more efficient so make sure to get a beacon with haste on it that is one thing i did forget to mention and yeah but i think i'm gonna wrap things up there this video may have been a little bit short but i just wanted to showcase my new island that i'm gonna be playing on and it is pretty insane it's way better than my last one but yeah i'm gonna wrap the video up there thanks so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe for more future videos here on akuma mc skyblock and i'll see you in the next one peace out